All right, so in this video, I'll show you really quickly how to fix the low voltage problems uh, occurring with the TS-80. So I have the custom firmware from Raleem going, and I highly suggest you go ahead and do that. It allows some very cool features such as a boost temperature, so I have mine set to 210. And if I have some ground planes, like that's extremely low. If I have some ground planes, I just press the up button and it goes to 310. And so that's extremely useful. But anyway, I would still get the low voltage issues, right? And the custom firmware does allow heating from 5 volts, so that's fine. You, if you're really desperate, you can definitely use that. You'll need a higher temperature to use the tip as a buffer of energy. But anyway, so let me simulate how this would happen. So basically what Quick Charge does is it constantly tells the charger, yo, give me, give me 12 volts, give me 12 volts, give me 12 volts, give me 12 volts. The moment this connection breaks, this uh, communication channel, which occurs over the data lines, stops. The charger thinks, yeah, okay, no more Quick Charge. Let me go down to 5 volts to not damage an otherwise not quick charge friendly device. Anyway, so if we slowly remove this, you can see we're still powering, right? And regular like idle temperatures can be achieved, but yeah, like you'll notice when this happens with the custom firmware and you'll for sure know when it happens with the regular firmware. Uh, it doesn't recover, so I, I, I've done this like half a year ago. I don't know if the new firmware recovers or not, but once this link is, is broken, the micro doesn't attempt to go back to it. And so to do the actual fix, and I'm sorry I wasted two minutes of your life. And if that really upsets you, congratulations for getting this far into the video. Um, what you'll want to do is just squeeze, sorry for the long nails, You'll just have to squeeze the connector, All right? So I have another one here that um, I haven't done this to, so just squeeze this in, right? Not super aggressively, but also not very gently is how I'd frame it. So we have this side done, and let's do this side for a little bit more. All right, so just, just have, make sure that the that it makes good connection, right? Because it's, it's pretty annoying, right? You're soldering there and all of a sudden stuff stops working. I've actually bought another combo charger and wire. That's why I have two of these. And it still didn't fix the problem, right? So, but this did, right? And also a last TS-80 tip would be to get uh, this Bezeus charger in particular. I don't know if others will do it but this one for sure does so it kind of looks like this it has two outputs and what seems to happen is this one actually will go up to 12 or 13 volts with the custom firmware whereas the original one would cap out at 11 or 12 or even 9 i think so this one does does seem to be a lot more compatible with the uh, raleem's firmware so yeah enough on this enjoy your ts80 and have a good one.